Hello, chaps, and welcome back to Bloodborne, episode number 29. So, we just killed Mikolash. And what do we have to do next? Well, first we have this whole boss room full of fancy, fancy loot. So we're going to be uh, working our way back down, picking up all of that good stuff. And I think this should be a basement area down here. And we're going to get an important item. I want to say the iron door key is right up ahead. Yes, iron door key. That's very important. And we'll probably be utilizing that key this episode to get our blood rock and all sorts of fancy, fancy endgame loots. And cold kin blood. All right, that's the boss room, nothing here. Uh, that goes upstairs and we need to backtrack a little bit. Go back down the staircase. A crossbow asshole. Oop, 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 not good. Yeah, one at a time. I like that. Don't you shoot me. I know you're thinking about it. Nope. There we go. Quick and painless. Oh, blood vials, very nice. Very, very nice. No need to go back to town now. Pretty sure we got everything in the lower room, right? Right? Yeah, there's no basement there. Yeah, we got everything down here. So then we're just gonna keep following this spiral staircase and there is a skitterer. Stop running. You're only making this more difficult for yourself. Got it. Let's go, big boy. There we go. Nope. Nope. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so you're you're despite your size, you are not a joke. You are not a joke, good sir. I respect that. Whew. That scared me. That really scared me. Three bloodstone chunks right there. Very nice. And I want to say... Okay, yes, there are more enemies down here. I do not want to fight them together. Hi there. Oh, God. Should work. Don't hit the wall. Yeah. Dirty damn blood gem. In case we wanted to do a poison build, but fuck all that. We ain't getting fancy. We just like good old fashioned physical damage. Ah, and another moon rune. That one just increases all the blood echoes gained from killing things. No, nope, still not at the top. All right, uh, let's just speed back to the top. All right, so here we are back at the top. Uh, this is the bridge that we raised at the end of last episode with that very unnecessary cutscene. And we got another bloodstone chunk. Good, good stuff. Um, okay, no more items. Head across the bridge and grab that lantern. And, uh, you know, we could probably get to the end of this zone with what we have, but let's head back to town and spend our echoes and get some more uh, resources. Hi. I don't care what you have to say. Just let me level up, please. Two more points into strength. Very nice. And, oh, that was just perfect. Let's see if we need to repair. Beautiful. 
just beautiful. And let's head back. All right, back at Margot's Loft, middle in the nightmare of Mensis. And we, we are really right there at the end of the game, guys, but we still have more to do. We are not done by any means. For starters, let's kill these freakish animals. And some more bloodstone chunks, excellent. So there is a secret area located off to the right here. And we can sort of see the path down there. We're going to be facing some of those mother brains that cast Frenzy, and we put on our plus 200 Frenzy Resist rune to make that easier. First things first, we're going to go ahead and unlock this shortcut. Right there is a window that we are going to be jumping off into. But it's a lot, a lot easier to hit going up than down. So we're just going to ride this all the way down. Do you go faster, please? And then back up. And we got this, we got this. And there it is. Just roll forward, and here we are. All right. So this is a really interesting little side area. Uh, very, very worth clearing, even worth farming, actually. The, uh, the mother brain things here drop low level, well, relatively low level curse gems. So if you don't want to get into Chalice Dungeons, but you want some decent curse gems, you can actually come through here and just farm these. Which is pretty neat in my opinion. Run at me. Yeah, perfect. And that is how you kill mother brains. Are you gonna frenzy me? Damn, girl. Okay. Okay. Some cold kin blood. Any more items? I feel like there should be one more. Nope. Nope. Okay. Keep moving forward. And whoop. I want to be closer before she sees me. Alright, so we got two right here can't fight them at the same time. That would just get us killed. Let's buff up. Charge our attack. Stun her. Knock her down. And just give her an old R1. We'll probably get Frenzy here. I could use Sedative to remove that Frenzy, but honestly, between two Blood Vials or a Sedative, Blood Vials are much more inexpensive. In case you were wondering why I'm doing it that way. Perfect. Walk into it, baby. Yeah. All right. Well, that was painless. <laughs> Ten pebbles. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Why would I want a good curse gem right now? No, what I want is ten freaking pebbles. They're worth their weight in gold, I hear. <laughs> All right. And nothing else back here? Guess not. Oh, hello. Aren't you beautiful with your little bowl cut 90s hair? Ow. Because if there was one thing that would make a spider better, it's putting a human face on it and giving it a bowl cut. Walk into it. Yeah. Hello. Don't hurt me. Thank you. Alright. So those idiots are dead. And up in the next room, we have a little hole on the left, but we don't want to jump down there yet first. First we need to teach that big old brain a lesson, and you can see it hanging right there in between those pillars. Yeah, nasty. So we pull the lever. Bye. <laughs> 
justice demands a retribution. All right, so that's taken care of. Let's hop down here. And of course she would be right there to start frenzying us. All right. So let's try and take out these two spiders here without dying. Nice. All right, is that frenzy gonna go off? Okay. Let's throw on our sedatives and our ant antidotes because we're good. I have any. I don't have any antidotes, that's weird. Let's just pop it. Alright, so we gotta get across real quick. Real quick, like, run at me! Run at me, girl! No! No! You sit down! Bad! No! No, no, you don't. You will not kill me here. You will not kill me here. Oh, God, that one is rough. Trying to run across a little, a little beam like that. Whew. While dealing with frenzy damage is very, very disconcerting. And right here we get the Choir Bell spell. The Choir Bell spell is going to take, I want to say, seven Quicksilver bullets and heal your whole party. I think I've actually used it like once just to see what it does. Hi neighbors, you're being very loud. You're going to be in a YouTube video. Alright, so I think that was it for this side. grab our Quicksilver Bullets from our little spider friends and head outside. And uh, that's where we started, right up there on that ledge and we looked down and saw this little pathway. And oh, oh, good loots. So many good loots in this room. Great One Wisdom, a good Arcane Droplet, another Great One's Wisdom, another Great One's Wisdom. Now the Great One's Wisdom, and we're not even done yet. Yes, this uh, this little path is very worth doing each playthrough. And I think we get a really good Blood Tinge, yes, Blood Tinge Droplet, and we'll look at all these gemstones that we're getting once we have a little time back in town. And then the Iron Door Key opens this door right here. And that goes back to the very start of the Mikalash boss fight room. But we are not quite done here yet. We have yet to get the most important item in this tedious, terrifying little path. And what we gotta do is run up to where that mother brain was hanging out right here. And just gingerly walk off. And what? What do we have over here but the Blood Rock. Your one free Blood Rock per playthrough. And that'll get any weapon from plus 9 to plus 10. Alright, and this is where we fought the Ludwig Hunter. And, uh, you know what? I want to use that right now. Let's go back to town. Alrighty, here we are back in town. I think we have enough to level up once. Yeah, we do. Strength up to 30. Stats are starting to look pretty good. And let's go fortify weapon. Ludwig's Holy Blade. Oh yes. To plus 10. Feels good, chaps. Feels good. Hmm. Might as well upgrade our Hunter's Pistol. No reason not to. Hunter's Torch? Sure. We use it. Why not make it stronger? Not gonna waste any chunks on those, though. And we've picked up a lot of runes, so let's go through those real quick. Um, we're not gonna need this Frenzy Resist rune on, so we can swap that out for something better. So we've got... I 
damage. Quick silver bullets, visceral attack damage, health back on viscerals. I kind of like all damage reduction 4%. Doesn't sound like that much, but it's I think it's pretty good. Um oh yes, blood gems. Let's look at the uh, the blood gems we picked up. Alright, so we got our 18% physical. Let's throw in a 12.6 and rally potential blood gem. And we just picked up this arcane attack one, 18%, and can go in any slot, really strong. And the blood attack one, 21.6%, any slot. Really good gems. And still don't have a half decent physical crescent gem. That's unfortunate. But, eh, this one's getting the job done, I suppose. Um. Okay. I think that's all there is to do in town here. So let's go back to Margot's Loft Middle. Alright, we are back. If you would like to see an effective farming route, I'm about to show it to you. We're gonna clear this whole uh, this whole area, but since we've only got a couple minutes left, I'm just gonna show you my favorite, and in my opinion, the best farming route in the game right here. So you just run by everything, and just focus on the piggies. If you're actually doing this for the sake of uh, efficiency and leveling up, you're definitely going to want to put on your air runes. And the air runes increase your uh, blood echoes when you get visceral attacks. So what you do is you just sprint through here, kill one piggy, three visceral attacks, then you do these other ones, pop a blue elixir so they can't see you. And you're pretty much just guaranteed these easy visceral attack kills. Unity friend, bitch. You don't scare me. Yeah, you do that. You do that. It's a great attack. Doesn't leave you exposed at all. Especially not in the butt area. There we go. Yeah. So uh, that's the farming route right there. And trust me when I say it can give you a lot. Alternatively, if you don't want to do it like that, you can just kind of kill everything along this route and you can kite those two big pigs right there. Just sprint straight past them and into these four shades. And the uh, the shades and the pigs will actually fight each other, and you can just clean up some blood echoes that way. And we're just going to run right to the end of the zone. Grab this shortcut. And here we are. Just makes one big circle. Alright, uh, well, that is where we're going to call this episode for today. Uh, I will see you guys next time. And thank you for watching. Peace.